Good afternoon everyone, this is KI5JUF Steve again and uh, today got another video I want to do on using the clarifier. So this is something that I've been playing around with uh, and I wanted to share with you what I've learned on it so far. So the clarifier basically is designed to allow you to tune in uh, signals particularly on upper sideband uh, when you're working on one side of the carrier or you know for upper sideband and then the lower sideband uh, and it's just it's also called I think RIT which is uh, receive incremental tuning uh, which is what it's also called. So what I wanted to show you today is uh, let's see we have some traffic here we may have let's see here okay there's our CB band I'm listening right now on 27335. And let's see, I don't think there's anybody on right now. We had some traffic earlier. What I was going to show you was if we had some traffic, is what it would look like. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to purposely tune off the frequency by 27335, basically 5. Uh, I'm sorry, it's going to basically be uh, f f 5, uh, let's see, that's going to be uh, 5 kilohertz lower than the resident frequency, which is 335. So there's the specific channel, and I'm going to dial it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely go off frequency by 5 megahertz. And what I want to show you is when you press the clarifier, the clarifier is set up to fine-tune the uh, frequency. So when I press this once, clarifier button, if you notice what happens is I'm going to start turning the clarifier and you'll notice I'm slowly bringing that signal right here over to the center line. Basically, it's going to be 5,000 hertz or 5 kilohertz. So when I get to 5,000, I'm going to be on the resident frequency. And right here, there we are. So you notice our transmit frequency hasn't changed. The transmit frequency is still over here at 27330. Let me turn that down. The transmit frequency is at 27330. The receive clarifier or the receive tuning has gone up 5, five kilohertz or 5,000 hertz. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it back down and what will happen is you'll notice that these two lines will slowly come back together. So this was a good example and you can see the, the, uh, the splatter coming in from that one uh, station there. It's, it's a pretty powerful station coming in. Uh, I'm going to bring the clarifier back in. Notice the lines are slowly coming back together. So that's cool. So the clarifier is in this configuration is is only designed to fine-tune your receiver to another station's transmitter. In other words, your transmitter will not change frequency in this mode. So let me show you there are two other options for the clarifier. I'm going to go ahead and press the uh, menu button and use the multifunction key. I'm going to select number 40. So if you see number 40 has the receive on it, so I'm going to press select. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to turn this and notice instead of being having the adjustment on the receive portion of the clarifier, we're going to have it on the transmit portion. Turned red to transmit. So, I'm going to press enter and back out of the menu. Now what's going to happen is, when I adjust my clarifier, I am now tr adjusting my transmit frequency. My receive frequency is not changing, so I'm going to demonstrate that. If you notice, the receive frequency is not changing but the transmit frequency is so if I go up to 5000 what will happen is I will actually transmit on 27335 
5500. But I'm still receiving on 273300. And again, it's. See how they're separating? So that's pretty cool right there. 5 kilo, 5, 000, 5, 000 hertz is 5 kilohertz. And we're good. So I'm going to turn it back to zero. This also kind of helps me understand the relationship between tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so forth, uh, particularly with as we use kilo and mega types of things. Uh, it gets a little confusing sometimes. You have to draw things out. So there's a, there's a station again transmitting. And see, we're not able to bring in their receive anymore, but they're, they're 5 kilohertz off. So if I go back to to here and I press select what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the third option which is transmit and receive so what this option is going to do is when I adjust my clarifier both my transmit frequency and my receive frequency are staying together so watch this notice the two are staying together right now the R and the T right here on the screen and we're bringing in this station here and we're gonna bring it on in that's that's a that's a lot of splatter right there that's one hell of a station right there coming in they got a lot of power a lot of power and they're talking on a lot of other frequencies too they're 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 cutting all over the place but that's cool they're getting out and they sounding good alright so here we go So you see this receive and the T are staying together and not moving because they're they're set. The waterfall is adjusting, so we're gonna bring that on down and we're gonna get this all back to zero and then we're gonna go back to receive again. This was great to have this station transmitting because uh, it helps helps me out. So I'm gonna go back to menu and I'm going to go select and I'm going to go back to receive. I leave my clarifier in the receive mode because I think that's most productive because if you end up uh, you know if your if your other station is adjusting the transmit and you're adjusting the receive you'll just sit there and chase your tail and I don't know if you'll ever be able to bring them in so there we are we're back and the receive clarifier is back and notice again now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off the clarifier and it's not doing anything and now I'm going to bring that station in with the VFO and there they are 335 and that, that that's a power this is a powerful station they're uh, they've got a lot of a lot of bandwidth they're taking and they're they're actually transmitting if you look at this they're actually transmitting uh, a, a pretty pretty uh, pretty wide band of transmission there they're probably going all the way up to well probably up to 3040 and on the other side of their signal they're over here at 3030 so they're almost transmitting um, almost 20 20 kilohertz that's a pretty wide signal but they're getting out and they're extremely their audio sounds really really good Okay, so that's that. The only other thing I was going to show you on the video is uh, we're going to go back to VFO mode, and that's by pressing the VM button. Again, we're back here. And the last thing I'll show you, I got a little bonus here for you. Um, these four little hot buttons down here, uh, depending on the programming, for example, on all my stations or on my memory stations, I have everything the same memory. Uh, meter, squelch, power, and multi-channel. So everything, and I actually bumped it, let me lock the VFO. So I've got all of these stay the same on all my member channels. So when we're in a memory channel, all these buttons are always going to appear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to VFO, and they're different. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the mic game because we don't use that very much. So to do that, we're going to swap this button out with another function. So I'm going to press uh, whoops, told you wrong. Press here, MM function. Go over to select uh, F3. 
Now notice that's flashing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this to squelch. When I press, when I touch squelch, that's going to move down here. So watch this. Uh, it timed out. I got to get a little bit faster on this when I do the videos. F4, swap, it's flashing. I'm going to scroll back to squelch and when I press squelch, squelch moves down there. The last, the last one I'm going to change is function number four. Since the sweep, we always leave the sweep on, I'm going to go ahead and replace that one with the multi-channel. Actually, I'm going to change that one to, let's see here, I'm going to change that one to uh, microphone gain. I'm going to change that to, I saw one here, noise blanker. We're going to put noise blanker here, so let's do that, because we'll use the noise blanker when we're talking HF. And go back to F4, press it. Now we have to find noise blanker. There we go, now we got it. All right, we're gonna back out. So now, if I go back to memory mode, it still remembers all my preset hot buttons. They call these, I think, hot buttons. And when I scroll through each channel, they all stay the same. And now when I go to VFO mode, guess what? Now I got noise blanker, I can turn it on, I can turn it off. I've got squelch, I can adjust it. And of course, to get out of these, to, to clear this, just press this here once, uh, press F here and go to, if you go back to MCH, that squelch will go away, and now we're back. So now we're good. Okay, so that's the video on the clarifier. Again, uh, clarifier, and you know, again, that's basically one hertz, a uh, hundred hertz, so you can kind of see the resolution, a thousand hertz, thousand hertz is one kilohertz and so forth. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm also going to step back and make a quick video of the station here real quick and everybody can see it. And I'm going to try to do that and I'm going to actually turn on the light here so everybody can see it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the camera. I'm going to try not to bounce it too much. But this is the station we've got. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So again, we've got the computer, we've got uh, the CB, we've got uh, the power supplies, we've got the SWR meters here, we've got uh, the one on the right for VHF, the one in the center is for HF, then we've got the power supplies, uh, we've got the top one is for the Foxtrot 9918 is a 30 amp power supply. The other power supply is a 15 amp. That's the radio. And of course, this is kind of what it looks like here. You look at it from afar. And we've got our certificates. That's Dad and I. That's our certificates over there on the wall. So we're going to put some other ones up too. But uh, anyway, thought it might just show you there's our coax coming in on the bottom. And uh, we'll actually go out, maybe grab some videos real quick of the antennas. So. Anyway, this is KI5JUF73, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video.